What is up? Welcome back. Today we are going to be cutting the transom out of the wood. We've got our foam template cut out right here. It is ready to go. So we're just going to take this and trace it out onto the wood. And then we'll cut it out. I've got the boat in the garage right now because it looks like it is about to storm out here. Holy cow. That's all dust. You can barely see. The piece of wood I'm cutting the transom out of is this bad boy right here. This is three quarters of an inch thick. The transom needs to be between two inches and two inches and one quarter of thickness. So this times two will give me an inch and a half plus the thickness of the fiberglass of the hole plus some fiberglassing I'll do to protect it. We should end up right around two inches. All right, we got our template on our board and I already got it all traced out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the template out and then I will cut out the transom piece. All right, so we've got our first piece cut out. We already made sure it fits right inside the boat. Well, doggone, that looks good. Fits in there nearly perfectly, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a piece for the second uh, layer of it, and I think I am gonna go ahead and do it the full size of this one, just to give it the most structural support. There's really no reason not to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so we've got both pieces cut out, the one here and the one there. I was just test fitting it in the boat and it looks good. There is one thing I do want to change though. Um, before, on the existing transom, it didn't go all the way to the bottom like this and I thought I would just go ahead and do that. But after reconsidering, I think water in the back of that bilge is going to sit at this level. So I think it would be better to just cut it off right there. So if there is any sitting water and there was any air leaks, the water wouldn't be able to get up to this when it's sitting. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right there and do the same for the other one. Then we should be good to go to sandwich them together with some PL glue. And it'll probably take about a whole tube. And then I'll just leave them clamped together uh, for about the whole day and then I'll come back later. All right, so I've got my board there elevated up off the ground. So I'm gonna lather it up with some PL glue. And then I'm gonna take the other board, sandwich it on top of it then I'm going to clamp it down 
with some clamps and then some boards on top of that to distribute the load. And then, even more than that, got a few big rocks there that I'm going to stack on top to give it even more pressure to sandwich these together, form a very nice permanent bond. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I've got it clamped down as best I can. Oh man, this looks kind of ghetto, but that's the best I could do. I really only had two real clamps. That just goes to show you in the future I could really use some more clamps. So we're going to let it kick off now. It says to wait 24 hours, so I will come back tomorrow and unclamp it, see how it is. All right, it's the next day and we got our transom plate taken out of the clamps and we put it back here at the back of the boat where it goes and it's a perfect fit guys. So now the next step is to trace out the keyhole and I did that just here from the back. You can see there. You can also see how well it fits in here. It's up nice and flush against the back wall there. So I just took a pen and mapped out the outline of the keyhole. So now we'll be able to cut that keyhole out. And that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I've got the transom laid out here. You can see the keyhole outline that we're going to cut out. Now I've got it set up on this table. I'm going to be using the jigsaw to cut it and to make sure we don't hit the table. I've got it up on these blocks here you can see. So we got a nice gap there, so the jigsaw blade will only come down to about here. Uh, so we don't have to worry about messing up our table. And I'll just start by drilling a little pilot hole. Then I'll just start jigsawing from there. And we'll get it done. The GoPro battery is dead right now, so I'm not going to be able to get a quick time lapse video of that. But I'll update you once it's finished. Alright, so I got my test hole drilled there so now I can take the jigsaw and just start it straight from there all right we got that sucker cut out really nice clean hole here it's kind of cool to see where the seam was where we glued it together I mean it's you really can't tell it just looks like one solid piece which is good made a really nice bond there so pretty happy with that. Alright, so the next thing I did was I went ahead and I took my nifty belt sander here and I went along all the edges here just to make sure not to get them smooth but to get them more uniform, more flat and also on this front facing side to help curve out that edge a little bit. Not on the back side because it's not going to matter, but on this front facing side I did a little bit, you can see. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this bad boy in the boat and see how the keyhole lines up. Alright, well that lines up pretty doggone good. You can see here the edge of the hole is pretty nice and flush all the way around, which is what we like to see. So, the next step we're going to do is waterproofing the transom before we put it in. 
So what we're going to do for that is I'm going to take some resin and go all the way around all the edges on the transom. And then I'm going to do a labor of a layer of that chopped strand fiberglass all the way across. Then also on the back, especially honestly right here on these end grains, this is where water is going to penetrate the most. So that's where we need to take the most attention to have the best waterproofing. And that is where this video is going to end. If you liked what you saw in this video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see how I made the transom template before this video, or you want to see what happens next, check the description down below for links to those videos. And if you want to see any of the other progress I've made rebuilding this boat, you can check all of the videos out on my channel, Zach's Garage. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you from me to you for watching this video. And I will see you next time.